Luigi's Hotel 3 is a game where you go around sucking up ghosts with your Ghost Sucker 3000. It's got booze, it's got goos, what could go wrong? Well, honestly not much. Luigi's Best Western 3 is one of the best games I've played in 2019. It is, I dare say, better than the original Luigi's Mansion, but don't say that too loud or else I'll have these types of How people drilling on their Luigi's keyboard in the comments. So Luigi's Hotel Hell 3 introduces various changes over the original, including debatedly the best thing in any video game ever, Gooigi. Outside of being an ectoplasmic pile of ghost cum, Gooigi introduces plenty of new gameplay possibilities, all of which the game makes really good use of. Goo Man can slip through pipes, bars, and even suck all on his own. Gooigi was introduced in Luigi's Mansion 2, but only in the co-op mode, functioning as the in-game avatar for Player 2. This time around though, Player 1 gets to take full control over Goo Boy, with the catch being you can only control either Luigi or Goo Boy at any given time. Luigi's Hilton 3 also introduces various new power-ups for our green mustache protagonist to use, including a burst flashlight to reveal secrets and make ghosts vulnerable, a super suck, and even a plunger to pull objects with. All of these new abilities and gameplay mechanics come together perfectly as you're given a huge, beautifully designed hotel to mess around with them in. Each floor is completely different from the last, and each has its own theme. There's a pirate floor, a magic floor, a bullshit fuck you floor, and a movie studio floor, which is personally my favorite. The main objective of the game is, unsurprisingly, to save Mario, but this time it isn't only Mario. You also have to save Princess Peach. Also, I guess there's a couple toads thrown in there. Mario and the princess have been trapped in paintings, and it's up to our lovable protagonist Luigi to shine a darkness beam on the paintings to get them out. Yeah, alright. This game really makes you feel, feel like... like now, one complaint us gamers had about the original Luigi's Mansion was that it was too easy. Luigi's Marriott 3 strikes a fine balance between too easy and too difficult. The endgame in particular has a difficulty spike that I wasn't expecting, you but it isn't anything you, too no jarring. Fun. Overall, Luigi's Radisson 3 is an incredibly fun, fresh experience. The developers and designers let their creativity and love for this game really shine in the final product. Great gameplay, great level design, great sound design, Luigi, 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. As you can probably tell, I'm trying out a different type of video content. I had a ton of fun making this, and I'd love to make more videos just like this in the future. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. I'd really love to hear your feedback on this one. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.